so that's the smooth all of my thumb. What were you told you wouldn't be able to do? I was told that I was never be able to eat properly, so I was never a permanent surgeon tube. Oral cancer rates were already rising before the pandemic forced dentists, who play a crucial role in diagnosis, to close their surgeries. Now, experts are warning of a looming mouth cancer crisis because many patients are still waiting months to get a checkup. What I'll do, I'll pass you over to Chris because Chris is actually a patient. Um, he's had head and neck cancer himself, so just bear with me a minute. Chris Curtis from Blackpool set up a head and neck cancer support charity while recovering from the condition nine years ago. They now have more than 7,000 members worldwide. Chris and wife Sharon operate a helpline which is open 24 hours a day and they're now dealing with double the calls they used to before lockdown. Hello, Sharon speaking. So what's been the impact of COVID on the people that you've been speaking to? The calls we're receiving at the moment in COVID, in COVID time are from someone that's just been diagnosed, someone that is about to be diagnosed, people that have been treated and now in COVID trying to deal with post-treatment. So it's a whole range, but what the common factor is, is the isolation of COVID. Laura emailed Chris during lockdown. He sent her some sprays and supplements to help with her dry mouth, a problem he suffers from too. But today's the first time they've spoken. Laura contacted me and um, I just sent her one of our support boxes and hopefully it helped you get through some of the side effects. Oh, that's been amazing. Dry mouth is not fun at all. No one knows what dry mouth is unless you live with it. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Laura, who's shielding, is writing a book about her experience with mouth cancer. She's also pulling together recipes to help patients in recovery, and she's determined to continue using her voice to raise awareness. Anna Yosef, ITV News.